Hi guys, Todd here. Today we are not going to be doing a review like a normal review. This will hopefully become clear as I prattle on here. Now, I have in my little shed here, I have a collection of mods from a company in the UK called Darwin Mods. And if you've been watching my reviews for any length of time, you've probably seen me review some of these mods. Uh, I also have not just the ones that you saw in that little video here, but uh, my 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 pride and joy uh, that, that I purchased uh, a little while ago. This is one of three. Uh, this is my Beagle, um, which is also, but how cheesy is that? My Beagle uh, by Darwin Mods, or Eddie, uh, who is the man behind it. And uh, I'm just going to sit here and polish this now. How wrong is this? Anyway, uh, Eddie now has a new mod coming along. It's a squonker, it's a switch fit, it's a single 18650, and it is called the Curve. The one I have here is one of two prototypes or two almost production type ones. What I will do during the close-ups is I will give you more information on what the differences are going to be. I will show you a photo that he's, I'm actually talking to him just now, that he's just sent me uh, that are absolutely stunning, showing some different finishes. And, and I'll cover all this in the close-ups and we'll have a summary at the end. So, here we go. Now, as I said, the one I have here is one of two. There was two prototypes that were made and it is pretty close to what the finished version is going to be. Now, the differences that I will point out, this window here for the squonk hole will be bigger. This one here is just a little bit too small for me. Uh, it's easy to squonk with, there's no issues. I can pinch the bottle. It's uh, a dinky plus 10 from modmaker.co.uk and it pulls out there no problem. But squonking wise, it's just a little bit too narrow there so the finished product will be slightly wider here. Up the top we have a Mod Maker 510. I have no issues with this at all. We do have the curve engraved here. This is all done by Eddie himself. Now there is a screw underneath this dimple here. Now this may change. You may find that this will be flat on the you know the ones that got for sale or it may be a dimple like this. Personally I prefer the dimple. It's just it's just nice. I don't know why, but it is. So bear in mind that might change. Also, the, the brass plate up here, that may change. You may have abalone up here. I don't know what, but for my one, I have brass and I have no issues with it. The button is a Switch Vent V2, but Eddie has customized this one. He's put a Panasonic switch in here. It's got a higher spring pressure than the standard Switch Vets and it's it's really nice. Now the switches may change as well. I'll put up a little photo here just now showing you some of the other switches that he's working on. But I'm chuffed with the one I have and I think it suits this wood. This wood that you see here, this is a stabilized block. This was actually done by Eddie himself, but he will be using other blocks from mod makers in the UK, you know, possibly like Chris Scott. I'll also put up another photo here just now showing you some of the other ones that he's been working on and you can see what I mean by the other finishes. They are bloody gorgeous. All the bodies are manually milled by Eddie himself and then hand finished. So this is all done in house. We do have a mod maker battery tube here and you know, you just unscrew this from the bottom. It's a single 18650 as I said. Now the key thing about it has to be the shape and you can see why it's called the curve. Uh, it is very different. Uh, I'll cover it more when we go back up top and how I feel about it and what it's like to vape and hold and all that kind of stuff but you can see that it's just so different to anything else on the market. Height wise you are looking about 85 millimeters up here. You're looking at 24 millimeters wide in here in the brass section but overall the width here to here is just over 36 millimeters. At its widest point across here, you're looking about 60 millimeters, but then it narrows to about 38 millimeters in here. Each curve takes about three days to complete. Uh, that's how long it takes Eddie to make one of these. And price-wise, you are going to be looking about the 280 pound mark for one of these. 
And that is all I have for the up close stuff. Now, as I said at the start, this is more a show and tell. It's not an actual review because this one is, it was one of two prototypes. I don't have the retail packaging. This is not exactly how yours will arrive when you buy one. So I can't call it a review as such, but I did want to show it off because a lot of people have asked about this mod. And I think that it is pretty damn special. That's a 1 RDA on there just now. That's a 22 mil RDA. And it's just, now the thing is, when I got this and I first opened the box, I, I kind of didn't like it that much. I didn't know it was coming. Um, I got an email the day before or a message the day before to say that he was sending something for me to give feedback on. Now, when I opened it, it's, it's not symmetrical. And that freaks me out. Um, that freaks me out. And, and 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 I just there was things like I thought the wood should come down and round here, and and it just wasn't working for me. Then you vape with it, and left-handed people look away now. You will not be happy. Right hand, this heavy part here, this this piece here, just drops in the curve of your hand there. It's so comfortable and your thumb just reaches that switch and it's it's just so comfortable it's crazy and to squonk with yeah I have to use my finger and dig in I think with you know once it's a wee bit wider it'll be more comfortable to just do that but right now I'm not There's no issues with the way it performs. It's, it's, it's a switch fit, you know, Herbie's done a great job in these things and uh, kudos for that. Uh, I do like the simplicity of the little logo up here with the serial number and it just ticks boxes for me. Now I have every single mod produced by Eddie, as in each model. Um, this one is, now I have my favorites, obviously the Beagle is just stunning. I love the Gecko. The Gecko, the wee, yeah, it's just a little star plant mod. I really enjoy vaping with that a lot. But this is his most organic, it, it, it comfortable, it, it, it feels just completely different to everything else he's done. And, and I like it for that. It's just out there. And that appeals to me for some strange reason. The price is, as always, is down to you, your pocket, your budget, and all the rest of it. I'm not here to justify it or to make any kind of excuses for it. This is one guy. This is all done in-house by himself. Uh, obviously, aside from the parts, the internal parts, I do believe he's got his own 3D uh, carrier system in there as well for the switch fit. And kudos to him. Uh, this is everything I love about my job, is getting to show gear off like this and I'm chuffed to hell. Yes, I, I, I don't know if he'll do a left-handed one. Maybe he will if you ask him. I don't know how difficult that would be for him to change it. Um, I'm not a mod maker. Uh, yes, you know, we've got a, a brass tube here. I'm sure he'll do stainless steel ones as well if you ask him. These will not be made in vast quantities. Uh, there'll be, you know, limited numbers. You'll be able to get them through. I'm sure he'll do them through the shop, his Facebook group and all the rest of it. Go and have a look on the Facebook group and keep up to date with what's happening. This will change as things progress, but this was just a first look for you guys and to let you know what's coming down the line. Me personally, I love it to bits. It's not going to be for everybody, I get that. Either be budget or you don't like the design or the look of it, That's but there is lots of other gear on the market that you can go and choose from. Thank you as always to Eddie for, for letting me play with these things, it's, it's just a privilege. And to you guys as always, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now. To the side of me here, you will find two videos that I think you may also be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments in the video below.